Shane Crosby. And I'm Bob Hope. Welcome, Welcome to, to Coming, Coming Up, Up Next. Next. You know, we really want to thank you for joining us again this week on our guided tour through the wonderful world of public access programming. And you know, we received a tremendous number of calls in response to our last show. Uh, one of the most frequently asked questions was, how does my brother keep his beard looking so soft and supple? So in response to those questions, we bring you grooming tips for our follically enhanced viewers out there. You know, real men wear beards, not cheesy little mustache. Ow! Thanks for joining us again this week on our grooming tips for men with beards. We've got a bunch of men with beards, and our special tip this week is if you take a good handful of 30 weight oil, and pack it in there real good before you go on a long ride, it pretty much keeps the bugs out of it. You know, we all know it's a pain to try and pull those bugs out, you know, if Works you don't do something me, about it. I mean, you guys agree 30 weight's a, a good oh, yeah. way to go? I think the 50 sure. weight every now and then, though, it gets hot enough. Yeah. You're going to well, use the 50 weight. Depends that's true. 30 weight gets, gets yeah, kind of thin. Yeah. Definitely. But depends then again, on the if, it, if it runs a little bit, then you get that nice cooling effect. Oh, you that's know? true. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's, you can all have to back on the old handy 10W40. Right. Well, and ladies do love 10W40. Oh, yeah. It's a traction. Right. It's Kev. How do you keep your beard uh, looking looking so nice? Well, uh, usually in the mornings when I get up, I'll, I'll knock a few of the larger bugs out of it and uh, have comb the rest back. Have you know? breakfast. Yeah, yeah. Well, not only that, you got the small ones in there. They kind of cultivate a nice little space, some air. Yeah, it gives some stuff, texture yeah. to the beard. Right, and, exactly. And uh, it shows that you have a little class. Ooh, yeah, exactly. Now, Steve, what about your beard here? Well, I got a good old lady that takes care of my beard. I, she doesn't even allow me to shave. I, mean, oh. I can't I gotta sit there. And, you know, well, sometimes she doesn't have a lot of time on her hands. I get a little growth down there, but I don't say anything. Uh, I love her. I love well, her say. I'm sure I, she's watching today, and she's probably sharpening the razor while oh, we're yeah. talking. That's <laughs> <laughs> what worries me. Oh, In, anybody else have any, any uh, great grooming stories or tips for uh, for our viewers out here? Ken, you got Kenny's any? got a good story. Kenny's got a good story. Oh, man, always got a good story, but yeah, but we can't believe any of them. <laughs> <laughs> They're actual fact. I couldn't make up the things that happened, I believe. You know? <laughs> uh, there's, uh, there's some things you can do and some things not. You know, sometimes you get up, you got to run a pick to it because you got so much things clogged up in it and everything. Oh, and right. Knock depending on your job right. and yeah, the scabs. Well, uh, there you go. Yeah. Well, sometimes you just let but, a grinder uh, fall on your face and take it right off, don't you? Kid? Yeah, that did happen to that <laughs> one. <laughs> it's a cold outside. It didn't bleed for a while, so I didn't think nothing of it and went inside. and. Went back out and it froze up again. That was a pain getting out. A little blood clot. Trying to heal up a scab oh, yeah. under your oh, arm, you know. It's yeah. Right. You have a few right. scabs hanging well, off. Well, something like you do, macho. you know. Well, not only that, but you it kind of gives kind of a two tone a effect oh, yeah. to the beard. Yeah. 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 Well, I don't want a part with it. It keeps me warm. <laughs> well, I, I can understand that. Uh, Bob, you do anything special with your beard? Basically, I like this style here. It makes it a lot pop. easier when you're riding, you know. Yeah, but you gotta but, watch out for bumblebees. Well, that's true. But then again, but, you know, Bob has has the disadvantage that he's got to shave part of his face. Yeah, I always you keep know? this baby smooth. Yeah. <laughs> looks for looks as smooth as a yeah. baby to me. I wish that's I could shave myself. Ex exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and and and, and Bob, like what about you? The this morning. We got the Bob and Bob show over here. Yeah, just usually with me and keep my. Keep my fur and my face soft, man. I used uh, fabric softener. No. It makes the fleas happy and everything else, too. <laughs> now, now, that's a great tip. Most, I never thought no, of that. No, no, and not no. only that, but you get that great odor. And it knocks the static yeah. right out of it. That's right. It won't cling to my face, either. Uh, that's true. <laughs> that's I don't true. understand. How do you get your head in the dryer with the door and close the door and all? Well, the way my wife is when she's mad at me, uh, she can fit me in a dryer. Yeah, you gotta hide from them sometimes. Especially in that broom handle, man. She just pokes me right in there and then leaves me on there for about. She don't come. She puts me in on Sunday. She won't come get me till Wednesday. I can't figure out why. Well, that's understandable. Ooh. Well, like, folks, that was our grooming tips for this week. Thanks for joining us, and uh, see you again soon. Mom always gave you the best follicles, anyway. Naturally. You know. Agriculture is a mainstay of our local economy, but unfortunately we live in an area that has really unpredictable weather patterns. So we here at your local cable system are really fortunate to have the services of one of the finest prognosticators of weather available in the area. That's true. However, our weatherman doesn't rely on data recorded by satellites to give you an accurate prediction of what Mother Nature has in store for you tomorrow. So let's go to coming up next own weatherman, Mr. May Flowers, with his own unique weather outlook. May? 
Thanks, gents. You know, if you people watch regularly, you know that I found a better way to prognosticate on the weather. Found that you don't need charts. All you need to do is lick the pavement. So let's give it a lick and find out what tomorrow's weather is going to bring us. Tastes like rain. You know, it's amazing. I mean, the guy is just never wrong. If, if any of you out there would like to be our guest pavement licker, give us a call at the Coming Up Next hotline. Now, the number will appear on the screen right about down there at the bottom at the end of the show. What's that on your face? Uh, wait, you said that real men wear beards, so I Look, thought that... we don't stoop to fake beards on this show. Go, go take that off. Go. Go take it off. Siblings. You know, I'm kind of glad my brother's gone because I wanted to talk to you people out there about a problem that I've really, I've heard that basically has developed because of coming up next. Come on, come on in a little closer here. Get a little closer. Okay. You know, I've heard that a lot of you love watching the show, but you really don't want your friends to know that you watch it. Well, we've come up with a solution for you. Right here. It's our coming up next anonymity bag. Now you can watch coming up next at home and never have to worry about your friends seeing. <laughs>